Hello and welcome to Pro Wrestling League Season 3. It's the 15th day of this season and it's the battle between the Haryana Hammers and the UP Dangals. Remember, UP Dangals haven't lost a match yet. They are still going to target Haryana Hammers just because now it's the battle for the first and the third position. Join me is Sunil Taneja himself. Sir, today UP Dangals and Haryana Hammers ka, uh, match hai, aur both the teams will look for the top spot in the t points table. How it is going to be, sir, today? Uh, it's going to be very, very interesting. Uh, UP is a lot team which has match hara nahi hai. They would like to continue with that form uh, for two reasons. A, they want to maintain their continuity. Uh, momentum is very important in any sport. Mein. B, if UP Dangal wins today, they will top the league table. Right now, Punjab is at number one. If UP wins, they are number one and they will face Veer Maratha. A comparatively easier team. It's a team which can beat you, but uh, on the basis of their pre, uh, past performance, UP would love to play uh, Veer Maratha uh, than Punjab or Haryana. So it's a must win for UP if they want to top that table. If Haryana wins, they have to win big. 5-2, 6-1, 7-0 in order to top the table. If they win uh, by, say, 4-3, then Punjab remains at number one. So, UP will face Haryana again in the, in the semi-final and Punjab will face Veer Maratha. So, we have to say that we have got four semi hai, But the real strategy is that you want to play in the semi-final. UP, Punjab, Haryana, no team wants to play from the three of us from the other team, in my opinion, in the semi-final. You want to play from the semi-final from a comparatively easy team. Se mile. So, in that way, today's match can be very interesting. Ho sakta hai. Both the teams are already qualified for the semi-finals. Now, it is the turn to make it to the top uh, position. If uh, we uh, talk about the squads of both the teams, we have some amazing names like Geeta and Vinesh in the Ariana Hammers. Yeah. And of course, uh, in the UP Dangals, we have Sunyana and, and uh, others. How will you, uh, mark, how will you uh, make a mark uh, if the squads are considered? Very, very uh, balanced squads, I would say. But the unfortunate thing is, that Vinesh is not going to play today. In the women's category, there is only one option for blocking. That is Vinesh uh, versus, uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Geeta Fogart versus Sarita Mohr. Geeta is not playing today. There is only one option left in women's blocking category. So Geeta Fogart versus Sarita Mohr, that match is not going to happen. Vinesh and Sun Yanan match is going to happen because Vinesh is icon. She cannot be blocked. Sun Yanan is acting captain because her, uh, Helen is still not fit. And this will be the replay of that Rio Olympic quarterfinal. For me, this is match of the league. Because Usi match mein, Sun Yanan ke khilaf Rio mein Vinesh ke uh, ligament injury hui thi and she was out for a few months. So this is the match the whole India should be looking forward to. Uh, in the men's category, uh, there are two options for blocking. One is 57 and second is 125. If Haryana wins the toss, they would love, uh, they will block Jamaladin uh, Megamedo, which is 125. If UP wins the toss, they'll block 57, which is Vladimir Kinchagashvili, which is a Rio Olympic gold medalist. So toss is again very, very important. Then we have Bajrang Punia versus Harful Gulia. I think Bajrang has slight upper hand uh, on the basis of experience. Begsod versus Khetik Savalov will be a neck and neck match, no doubt about that. Vicky Chahar will face Rubaljit Singh Rangi and I believe Rubaljit will be slightly uh, favourite in this match. Vinesh Fogart, Sun Yanan, the whole India will be, you know, cheering up for uh, Vinesh Fogart and we hope she wins. Uh, Sun, Sun Yanan is in good form, mein hai. we cannot rule her out. Vinesa will uh, face uh, the acting icon, Pooja Gehlo. She is not icon, but she is in the icon category. Vanessa should win this match. Geeta will not face Sarita Mohd. This category is going to be blocked. Zenith Pooja Sihag. I think Zenith should have an upper hand. So all in all, looks like 4-3, four, 3-4 three, three, four in favor of any team. Okay. UP versus Haryana. Any, any team can win. But 5-2, 6-1 result in favor of Haryana Hammers looks very unlikely to me. So you are saying that toss will be very crucial in today's <laughs> game. And if we, if we talk about Helen Morales, just because last game she hasn't played just because of her injury, what is the uh, situation of uh, Helen Morales just because she is the icon player and they definitely want to uh, make them play today? Yes, Helen is not in the squad that I have received so far in the nine players. The news, the unofficial team, uh, news from the team is that she is 90% fit. She wants to play today. But because her team's place in the semis is confirmed, of course, winning this match and winning this match by 6-1 is very crucial for them, but they would not like to risk their main icon player who is a sort of uh, a player which guarantees them about. So they're not taking any chance. Helen is not playing today. She will play in the semi-final tomorrow or day after. So that's why they have kept Pooja Gehlot in the icon category. 
Lastly, from now on, if these teams go to the semi-finals and uh, the top team will face the fourth position team, yeah. so that will be Veer Marathas. Yeah. If we talk about the semi-finals, all the nine players are going to play in that. Uh, there is no toss, there is no blocking in that particular thing. So, how do you see then? Just because all the nine players, then auction will come in place. They will, they have choose chose all those nine players accordingly. And how will you see the semi-finals from now on? So, for me, it will start from the real dangle. Now, what was going on? Okay, you were playing, you were winning, you were winning. छे में से चार छे में से टॉप चार में आना उतना मुश्किल नहीं है लेकिन जब आपके पास ब्लॉकिंग नहीं है जब आपके पास गीता फोगाट खेलने के लिए अवेलेबल हैं जब आपके पास जब आप विनेश को या जब व्लाद व्लादिमीर को या जमाला दिन को ब्लॉक नहीं कर सकते असली दंगल उसके बाद शुरू होता है एंड मेक नो मिस्टेक हम कह रहे हैं सभी सोच रहे हैं कि नंबर वन वाली टीम नंबर फोर वीर मराठा से खेलेगी जिन्होंने मुश्किल से दो मैच जीते हैं दिस इज़ अ न्यू मैच ऑल टूगेदर इस मैट पर कोई भी टीम किसी भी टीम को ऑन अ गिवन डे हरा सकती है हमारी अपनी पूजा ढांडा दो दो वर्ल्ड चैंपियन वर्ल्ड सिल्वर मेडलिस्ट को ओलंपिक गोल्ड मेडलिस्ट को हरा सकती है तो एनीथिंग इज पॉसिबल सही दंगल अगले तीन दिन होने वाला है लास्टली आपने हरियाणा हैमर्स और यूपी दंगल्स को बिल्कुल ऑप्शन से आ, बहुत क्लोजली देखा है सो हु यू बैंक ऑन टूडे हरियाणा हैमर्स और यूपी दंगल्स आर टफ क्वेश्चन जस्ट बिकॉज यूपी दंगल्स है मैच इट simply on the basis of their performance because up have been very very consistent they look a little more favorite but i cannot see a 5-2 result in favor of up if up wins they will have to sweat it out 4-3 max but haryana bhi pure zor se khelenge unka target 5-2 6-1 rahega up agar jeetta bhi hai koi bhi bout ek aad bout chhod ke mushkil se koi bhi bout unko gift mein nahi milne wala bahut kadi takkar hone wali hai 5% परसेंट मुझे लगता है यूपी ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द परफॉर्मेंस एंड बिकॉज हेलन इज नॉट फिट टू प्ले वो एक कैटेगरी है जहाँ यूपी का ऊपरी हाथ है तो वहाँ पांच परसेंट यूपी के चांसेस ज्यादा लग रहे हैं थैंक यू सो मच इट विल ऑल डिपेंड ऑन दोस सिक्स मिनट जस्ट बिकॉज रेस्लिंग में उन छह मिनटों के अलावा और कुछ नहीं कह सकते दैट वॉज सुनील तरंजा थैंक यू सो मच फॉर स्पीकिंग टू अस एंड यू सेंग दैट इट विल बी अ वेरी टफ फाइट बिटवीन द यूपी दंगल्स एंड द हरियाणा एमर्स एंड देर एंड बोथ द टीम्स विल लुक टू टॉप द टेबल इन द लीग टूडे with the journalist of Nas Dishpur agent for Progressing League